Welcome to week two, everyone. All right, so we're back in chemistry. We're going to keep doing unit nine this week. We got lesson three and lesson four. So let's see what we're doing. First up, we're going to talk about molality and mole fraction today. We're going to talk about what those are. We're going to talk about how to do math with them, and that's it. All right. On Thursday, we're going to talk about molarity and some other stuff, which is molarity of the five here is probably the most important one. So that one gets its own sort of lesson, but we're going to wrap up two of them today. So remember concentration, right? There's five common ways you can express concentration. In order of commonness, it goes molarity down to mole fraction. Today, we're talking about molality and mole fraction. So let's write down the definitions here if you haven't already. First up, Molality is moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. Now note that with the stuff we did last week, we were, we were taking solute divided by solution. This is solute divided by solvent. All right, the solvent is you know the dissolving liquid, like the water in salt water. And solute is the thing you're dissolving, like the salt in salt water. Remember that solution would be the salt plus the water together. All right, so... We're talking about moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent for molality. And then when it comes to mole fraction, we're talking moles of solute divided by moles of solute plus moles of solvent. All right, they're sort of similar, but different. So we'll do some examples of each. First up, let's talk about mole fraction. Right, there's a big long equation here, but it's not so bad. It just looks big. Right, mole fraction is moles of solute divided by Moles of solute plus moles of solvent. All right, sort of like a percentage. All right. So the equation where x means mole fraction and n means number of moles and a or b means a specific substance is x of a is n of a divided by n of a plus n of b or x of b is n of b divided by n of a plus n of b. You just take your moles of solute divided by your moles of solute plus your moles of solvent. So let's have an example. What is the mole fraction of 50 grams of sodium hydroxide in a solution with 100 grams of water? All right, we gotta find the mole fraction. We got two things, we have sodium hydroxide and we have water. You'll notice they're both in grams and mole fraction in the name deals with moles. So our first step here is going to be to convert everything from grams into moles. Now remember the way to do that is to take the amount of grams you have divided by the molar mass of the substance. So in the case of sodium hydroxide, all right, we're going to take 50 grams, which is how much we have, divided by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Now this comes from the periodic table, remember, so the molar mass of sodium hydroxide will be a sodium, which is 22.99, plus an oxygen, which is 16.00, plus a hydrogen, which is 1.01. So you plug that into your calculator, you use your parentheses function, of course, because if you don't use parentheses, it's not going to work out right. You divide it, and you find out we have 1.25 moles of sodium hydroxide. Great. You do the same thing for H2O. Now, with H2O, it's similar, right? It says we have 100 grams of water, so we'll take 100 grams. Then in parentheses, we'll divide it by the molar mass of H2O. Now, the molar mass of H2O is an H, 1.01, plus another H. 1.01. It's H2, so there's two H's, plus 16.00, which is up. All, right. All that put together, we find out that we have 5.55 moles of H2O. In some problems, it'll give you the moles. In some problems, it gives you the grams. You got to convert it. So I picked a hard one for the example. All right. So we now know how many moles of sodium hydroxide we have and how many moles of water we have. Now, all we have to do is plug it into the equation and we get an answer. So let's do that. It's asking for the mole fraction of sodium hydroxide. So that means we're going to take the moles of sodium hydroxide divided by the moles of sodium hydroxide plus moles of water. So let's do that. We'll take 1.25 moles of sodium hydroxide divided by, in parentheses, parentheses matter, 1.25 moles of sodium hydroxide plus 5.55 moles of H2O. And when you take 1.25 divided by 1.25 plus 5.55, you get 0.18. So the answer is... The mole fraction of sodium hydroxide is 0.18. It's sort of like saying instead of percent by mass or percent by volume, it's percent by mole, that sort of idea. So it's by moles about 18% sodium hydroxide. 
Right? Remember to give your answer to two decimals, right? which I did here, so you're going to have to round properly. Now, many of the questions on the homework will be multiple choice, so that'll be pretty clear. right? But remember, you got to round to two decimals. So write down this example. Go back over it if you missed anything. I'm now going to move on to some practice problems for you to try, and then we'll have the answers, as usual. So let's try that. All right, practice. Just one question. Right. What is the mole fraction of 10 grams of O2 in a solution with 75 grams of water? So you got to do a few things. You're going to have to convert grams of O2 to moles of O2, grams of water to moles of water. Remember that water is H2O. Right. And then you got to plug it in. So pause the video now. Try and solve the problem using the example as a guide. Do the same steps we did in the example for this problem. Right. And after you do that, unpause the video, and we'll come back and look at the answer together. Great. Now that you've paused for two or three minutes to do it, let's look at the answer. All right. The answer is 0 0.07. All right, and here's why. 10 grams of O2. All right. We'll take that divided by the molar mass of O2, which is 16.00 plus 16.00. All right, so 10 divided by the 32 will give you 0 0.3125. Then you take 75 grams divided by 18.02, which is the molar mass of water. So you take your 0 0.3125 divided by the molar mass of water, or the moles of water you found by taking the grams divided by the molar mass, and you get 0 0.07. Okay, so hopefully you got that answer. If you didn't, go back to the example, take another look at it, and try the practice problem again. All right, so that's mole fraction. It's sort of like percent by mole. It's not so bad. The only hard part is converting grams to moles. And you've done that a hundred times. I know it was a couple months ago, but you got plenty of practice with that. I'm sure you can remember how to do it. So let's move on to molality. Now molality, not to be confused with molarity, is moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. So it's moles divided by kilograms. Now, a kilogram is 1,000 grams, as it turns out. Fun fact. So one thing to note before we talk about the example is that the symbol for molality is a lowercase m. It's not a capital M. A capital M means molarity, which we'll find out about next class. So remember that the symbol for molality is a lowercase m. That's why I'm using a lowercase m here. So let's walk through an example question. Let's say a student adds 4.5 grams of sodium chloride to 0 0.1 kilograms of water. What is the molality? All right, so we need to find moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. Well, sodium chloride is our solute and water is our solvent. All right, well, we have kilograms of solvent already. We don't have to do any weird conversions. We're good there, but we don't have moles of solute yet. We have grams of solute. Now, many of these questions will give you moles or give you grams. You have to convert the ones that give you grams. So we're doing a hard one as an example. So to convert 4.5 grams of sodium chloride to moles, I'm going to have to take 4.5 divided by the molar mass of sodium chloride. Well, what is the molar mass of sodium chloride? Well, the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. The molar mass of chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole. So the molar mass is 22.99 plus 35.45, something like, you know, 50... 8.44, however math works, 57.44. All right, so regardless, we'll take our 4.5 grams of sodium chloride divided by the molar mass, and we get 0 0.077 moles of sodium chloride. That's how many moles of sodium chloride we have. Now, we know our moles of solute, we know our kilograms of solvent, so we can put those into the equation and find an answer. So let's do that. All right, in your calculator, you'll take 0.077 moles of sodium chloride divided by 0 0.10 kilograms of H2O. And as you would expect, you will find an answer of 0 0.77. So that's the molality. The molality of this solution is 0 0.77. All right, and a unit would be something like moles per kilogram. All right, but the little m means molality, so that's enough. So m equals 0 0.77. All right, so write down those steps because you're going to do the next, the practice problems exactly the same way. We're going to follow the same steps to get the answer. So make sure you have these steps written down as a guide. All right, 
two practice problems for molality. The first one, you take 5.55 grams of sodium chloride into 0 0.80 kilograms of water. So you're going to have to convert grams of sodium chloride to moles and then divide it by the kilograms of water. The second question, you have 10 grams of Na2SO4 dissolved into one kilogram of water. So you're going to have to convert grams to moles again. Of course, this time, not NaCl, but Na2SO4. So you need two Na's and one S and four O's to find the molar mass. Okay, pause the video, take some time to work through these practice problems using the example problem as a guide. All right, then we'll go over the answers together. So go ahead and pause. Yes, really pause. Don't just keep watching the video and look at the answers because you need the good practice or you're not going to learn. All right, great. So let's take a look. Answers from allowity. The first one is 0 0.12. All right. We get that by taking 5.55 divided by the molar mass of sodium chloride to get moles of sodium chloride. Then take that divided by 0 0.8. The second answer, molality equals 0 0.07. We get that by taking 10 divided by the molar mass of Na2SO4 and then divided by 1, which is the same number, right? So 10 divided by the molar mass of Na2SO4 is 0 0.07. That divided by 1 is still 0 0.07. All right, so that's the two things we're doing today. We're doing mole fraction and molality. So. I will post the slides on campus for you to look at, and the video will be posted as well. Now, we do have a homework. It's another Google homework, so let me show you where it is. So we'll come here to on campus, and you'll go to your assignments tab. All right, and currently, as I'm recording this, this is a future assignment, but for you it will be current. All right, you'll click on it here, and it should take you right to the Google homework. All right, you'll see a question about mole fraction and a question about molality. Very simple, just two questions. All right, so make sure you get this done by Friday. It's due on Friday, April 3rd. This is being assigned Wednesday, April 1st. This is not an April Fool's joke. It is just two points. All right, I'll see you again on Friday. Make sure to stay inside, don't go socializing and wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds and we'll get over this worldwide pandemic together. All right. See you Friday.